Now, it was not within God's wishes to create humanity as robots. The highest expression of love is to create us with total freedom. That's love. The highest level of love. And so, this omnipotent God created us in such a way that we had freedom, even morally. We can choose to live good, or we can choose to live bad. We can choose to do evil with our mind and our heart and our wisdom and our creativity, or we can use our creativity to do that which is righteous. You meet people, they used to be thieves before they came to Christ. They were creative. In fact, I know of a church that's in the inner city. Then, you know, a lot of, some of the guys are in that part of that church, and that's not just thieves in the inner city, they're thieves everywhere. You know, but uh, this particular church, they had people that came from a criminal background, and the pastor told me that because they used to rob cars. And one lady, she locked her key inadvertently into her car, and, and the pastor just called out one of these guys, hey, you're saved now, come on, you know how to break in. And so they just got right in, got her key for her. <laughs> You can use your creativity for bad or you can use it for good. You understand? That's why my wife always says to me, I'm, I thank God you're saved. <laughs> and I didn't want to read into a statement, but I knew what she meant. <laughs> I'd be a bad person if I wasn't saved. I'm not talking about within the Ebonic sense. I'm talking about bad in this criminal sense. You understand? God had to redeem me. <laughs> But I want us to realize that God is omnipotent. He's all-powerful. He's omniscient, he's, and He's wholly good. And in God's infinite goodness, He loves us so much. He created us with this freedom, freedom to be able to do what we wanted to do and live the way we wanted to live, good or bad, righteous or unrighteous. It was His love that did that. And, and when we recognize that, we also must realize omnipotence and God being all-powerful it does not mean that God can do anything. Listen, I understand. You may say, what are you saying? God's all-powerful, but he can't do everything? Yes, God's all-powerful, but he said of himself, I'm not a man that I can lie. So though he's all-powerful, he can't lie. Though he's all-powerful, he can't hate because he says, I am love. Though he's all-powerful, he can't be unfaithful. He neither slumbers nor sleeps. God stands poised. I want you to see that God, when, and, and, and this self-existent God was so, is, is so wired in his nature, in his essence, that there are boundaries and limitations to his all-powerful nature. And I don't want you to get dis, you know, you know, distracted by that, but I do want you to understand because embedded within the question of people that are struggling, that how can God allow evil is that their assumption is that God, though he's all-powerful, he can do anything. In him being all-powerful, he created us a human freedom. And the human freedom, God says, if I now force everyone to do the right thing, how is that a reflection of my love? And some then choose to use their energy and their creativity, and, their, and, and God created them, by the way, and some choose to use their energies to do evil and create pain in the world. Such is the case, is what happened in Connecticut.